Andre Morgan, sometimes known as Mr. Twister. I'm here with Jim Craig at the Shepherd Sectional. Great wrestling going on here. Mr. Craig, I know a lot of you probably have seen him around, but you may not actually know who he is. Mr. Craig, say hello to the state of Illinois. Good evening, state of Illinois. Yeah, you know, Jim, just tell us a little bit of your background. First of all, I want to congratulate you. You told me earlier today you're 76 years old? I'll be 76 in April. What an accomplishment, 75 years on this planet. I mean, and you look great. Thank you, thank you. Uh, I, I got to attest a lot of that to your wrestling, you know, I in your life. I think so, I think so. How, tell me about your, your, your physically wrestling background. How did you get started in a sport? I started, I'm from Iowa originally. Okay. And I started at Davenport High School, which was the only high school back then. Okay. And one of my grade school friends came up to me after the first week of the season and said, Hey, I'm out for wrestling. Why don't you come out? Well, it was like a challenge. So uh, I went out and learned the sport and moved on. And he never was eligible, so he, okay. he never did get to wrestle. But uh, that's how I got my start. What weight classes did you wrestle in high school? I wrestled 165 was my primary weight class. Okay. Uh, but I did wrestle 180 and also heavyweight. Oh, so you wherever, went the whole the whole wherever they needed me. Now at the collegiate level, where did you uh, wrestle at? I wrestled at University of Iowa. The Hawkeyes. You bet. Now who was your coach while you were there? Dave McCuskey was my coach. Wow. And, you know, once you got out of the collegiate uh, level, did you go right into coaching and, and your education was yes. your background? Yes, to both. I uh, went into teaching science at a junior high school okay. and coaching wrestling at the junior high in Davenport. And then I did that for two years. Then I moved to Britt, Iowa, which is renowned for uh, National Hobo Convention, oh. <laughs> but uh, also for wrestling for an extremely good wrestling team. Uh, I had the honor of coaching Bob Steelage, who was the first four-time state champ in Iowa. Oh, and I wow. coached him his senior year. Okay. And then he went on to West Point and took third in the nationals at West Point. Now, what, how did the state of Illinois get blessed with your talents? Well, I was looking for another challenge. Right. And I wanted to go to a bigger school setting. Britt is a town of 2100. Okay. So it's not a real big school, and although they had great success with wrestling, we, in fact, I inherited a state championship team there, and then we won the state my first year there. What year was that? Uh, 1961. Okay. So it's a few days ago. I was few, just, just, just the other day. I, you know, I was born in '57, so I remember that. <laughs> <laughs> so, you know, and then, uh, where did you go from Britt? Okay, we came to Oakland. We went to Oakland, and I was there for. Well, I came there in 1963, and I coached from 63 through 1974. Now, now you had a few champions over there at Oakland, correct? Yeah, Jim Cezik and uh, Terry Morena. Right. And the same year, and we, in fact, we took second in the state that year because of those two guys. That was before the Doomy concept came out. What, what year was that, that Cezik? 74. Now, did you start the Oakland program, or did you kind of move into that program that was already established? I moved into it. It actually was started by John jo or, uh, one of the George brothers, I can't remember his first name now, at Evanston. And he moved from here to Evanston. Were you at Oak Lawn when they had the tornado come through I and was. all that? Yeah. You know, I've heard 19, so many stories about that. 1967, April uh, 21st. So now Oak Lawn is here at this tournament today. When you see that green and white and black, does that give you a little special feeling that it you're does. part of that tradition? It does. And, uh, you know, it's to know that. Well, I was there, as they say, for 11 years as a head coach. And when I got there, they were 4 and 11 dual meets. The next year, my year, it was 4, 11, and 1. So I improved it there. Right. And then three years later, we won the sectional. Okay. Uh, so the kids really developed and moved up and took responsibility for the team and for themselves. And, uh, you know, you moved over to Richards High School, same school district, but down the road. Tell me about your time over at Richards with well, the Bulldogs. I actually didn't move there. I have, my kids went to Richards. Okay, your and kids. My, yes, my own children. What, what are your children's names, by the way? Uh, Jeff is the oldest. Okay. Joel is the middle one, and Julie is our daughter. Okay. And jo Julie didn't wrestle. Okay, and, well. Uh, Jeff and, and Joel both wrestled, and Jeff did pretty well. He was on a couple of the championship teams under Tom Hennep. And then uh, Jeff went on to Northern and wrestled there until he got an injury that he couldn't wrestle anymore. And he became an assistant coach for a couple of years. 
Now, you were kind of around in the beginning with the development of the kids program and the IKWF and all that. You've kind of, you know, that's a big thing now in Illinois. But can you tell me a little bit about how you as a high school coach saw that start out and how it's impacted Illinois wrestling? I think it's been tremendous. As you probably know, Illinois is, if it isn't the largest, it's the next to the largest right. uh, kids program going. I think I we're think, second to California, that, which is understandable. Been, been the way for a couple of years. Uh, if you look around at the successful teams, particularly at the, the uh, public school level, yes. I think it's helped their program tremendously. The Sam Burns and, and some of those, you know, that they really blossomed because of that. Fortunately for us, we, our head football coach became the uh, president of the AWC, the Astro Wrestling Club, okay. which he started two years ago. And I think we we're going to have tremendous uh, positive impact because of that. Now, when you speak of the Astros, you're talking about here at Shepherd. At Shepherd yes. What year did you come over here and start working with the kids here? I started in uh, 1993. Okay. My, my old son, Jeff, was the, became the head coach, Okay. and I was, so I was an assistant for him. And, and you, you look like you're in grave shape. Are there ever any moments when you, you, you grapple with the guys a little bit? Or? Well, I used to for many years. Yeah, I am sure but, you did. Uh, 2008, 2009, I had both knees replaced, and the doctor that did them did not recommend that I get down on the mat with the kids anymore. Wow. So I could still talk to them and hang around with them, you know, and show them things, talk them through whatever we need to work You know, Coach, everyone talks about this generation and, they don't listen and they have their own way of doing things. How's your relationship with the youth of today? Because I'm older, mm -hmm. they look at me as a grandfather figure. Okay. And I think that helps a lot. Uh, my reputation of being involved in the sport over the years it also helps. And, uh, you know, I was very fortunate at Iowa and uh, had some scoring over there that, right. that uh, gave me whatever I needed to do. And I try to pass it on to the kids. And, if you, uh, over here on our left, on your left, there's a big banner that I picked up at the Olympics in 1996. Absolutely. And uh, there's only two of those in the, in the world. Now, did you not do some, you did some work with the Olympic team, am I I correct? was assistant competition manager for the Atlanta Olympics. That's what I thought, yes. And my wife and I moved down there for a year and a half, and uh, I performed whatever I had to and when Rich Bender, who was the competition manager, went back to Colorado Springs, where they had a family there, then I would have to step in for that. And, and, and you mentioned your wife. Let's give her a little credit on this journey that you've been on, right. because we all know that behind every man there's a good woman. Absolutely. And her? And she we is? We have been married for be 54 years in June, and uh, I have been involved in the sport for 60 years. Wow. She has backed me on everything that I've done. If I thought I didn't, uh, you know, I didn't want to continue with it, she would say, well, if you enjoy working with the kids, stay with it. And uh, she's put up with all this craziness over the years, and I appreciate it. What's her name? Connie. Connie. Yes. Yeah, and, 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 I mean, to be in the sport 60 years, and how many years have you guys been married? 54. Wow. Or it'll be 54 in June. Wow, and I thought my 29 was a long time. <laughs> <laughs> but Coach, you know, I, I just want to thank you for taking a moment to talk to the state of Illinois. You're one of our treasures. And, uh, you know, anybody that's ever got any part of wrestling in Illinois and come north of I-80, they've done a tournament here at Shepherd or they've, they've been involved, they've run across you. Summertime, you do some work yeah. with the, you know, the Sprouse Off State Team I've Illinois. i for 20 years. Yes. Oh, it, 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 absolutely. You know, you wore the stripes. You just know the sport. And just want to thank you. I'm sure you'll be downstate. You know, yeah, definitely. We got a qualifier so <laughs> on the bus, <laughs> Coach. I'm going to let you get back to work. As you guys can see in the background, they're setting up for the um, place matches, and we're down to two mats here at Shepherd. It's a great tournament, and uh, you know, you, uh, you do a lot with this tournament and making it run smoothly. So, for the state of Illinois, I just want to thank you, State of Illinois. This is Mr. Jim Craig, Shepherd Astros, Richest Bulldogs, Oakland Spartans, and of course the Iowa Hawkeyes. You better. Thank you. Thank you very much.